What's up everybody? When I first moved into this house, this creepy old piano was in here, kind of stuck in here because my landlord didn't have anybody to help her get it out of here. And um, it's been the same case for me. I didn't have anybody to help me move this. It's really heavy, so I just kind of let it sit in this corner. But I felt like it would be a fitting backdrop for this particular video because we are going to focus on the Conjuring Universe set here by Pop Mart. And I'll go ahead and let you check out the box here. And uh, yeah, Pop Mart actually did reach out to me. And I thought that was pretty cool that they reached out for me to uh, review this set for them. I'm not going to um, show you too much of a close-up of the figures just yet. Because we will actually get those out and take a closer look at them. I'm wondering if the figures have some uh, decent weight to them. Because the box actually feels kind of heavy there. Um, there's the Pop Mart logo on there, of course. But I'm going to put their um, social media information up here on the screen. So you can check out Pop Mart if you're not already familiar with them. There have been some sets by Pop Mart that have already caught my attention, including this con um, Conjuring one, because um, even before they reached out to me, I'd seen advertisements for this one on um, social media. So I was already, um, you know, had my eye on this basically. And they have a Justice League set, which I really am looking forward to adding to my collection. You will see me unbox that one in the future, probably in the near future. That might even be like a Christmas gift to myself. Who knows? But um, yeah, like I said, Pop Mart definitely has some cool sets. So do make sure you check them out on social media. And there will be a link in the description as well well there are just a couple of the conjuring movies that i have not seen um yet or i've not seen completely so um there may be some characters in the mix here that i'm not actually familiar with let me go ahead and check something here okay i just wanted to see if all the boxes were the same or if they gave away the character but apparently they don't so it is a uh, mystery box style here and um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about some of the characters that they decided to include in the mix here. Of course, already we get a look there at Annabelle. But um, let's go ahead and get right into the first box here. And I am going to go ahead and open up all of these. Now, the individual boxes, of course, I'll be tearing these up. I'm not so worried about those. But I did want to make sure I tried to maintain that um, complete box sum. And uh, pretty excited about this. My first time opening up a Pop Mart set. I can smell the strong vinyl smell already. So let's see who we're starting off here with. Ooh, and right away we got the nun and um let me see real quick i want to take a quick glance i'm trying to see if there was more than one variant of her i think it's just this one though but uh yeah we're starting off with the nun here pretty creepy looking um she's got those crosses in her eyes uh looks like they might be meant to be upside down crosses which would fit the character here and um the hood here is it does have a little bit of flexibility too it's not like it comes off but uh yeah that's a nice detail there yeah she is a really <laughs> creepy looking figure here <laughs> definitely a good way to start though i'm um, starting off with her and um that that particular movie i think i've seen um like i watched like reactions to it more so than watching um the full movie I, I do need to watch the full movie i think i saw the first couple of scenes but for whatever reason i um, didn't finish up that particular movie i definitely liked her appearance though in um the conjuring 2 uh she she has some really creepy moments in there, especially the moment with the um, painting. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm referring to. Uh, let's see what we got next. So this one is really squared off. This has got to be. Um, I see there's the old man ghost. So maybe this is him. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, speaking of the Conjuring too, this is a character from that particular movie. Oh, they have some plastic protecting the actual figure. So there's him with his chair. First of all. Okay, and then of course we actually got the old man. Oh, okay. Um, I see a little hole in his hand there. So if you know about this character, you know what's missing there. Let me see if I can find this item here real quick. I got to actually back up for a moment because there's more going on with these figures than I realized. I, I guess I didn't notice um, that it, it kind of looked like they had stands on the box. I didn't realize that they actually do come with stands here. And these stands, um, they, you know, they're like brick floors here, or gray brick floors here. And they actually do say the conjuring on them. So um, I guess it's looking like each character is going to come with one of those, which is cool. I did not I did not realize that. And then they actually do come with um, cars here as well. So, I, yeah, I went back into the boxes there. So there's the card for the nun. You know, it looks exactly like the figure. Here is the uh, code for, excuse me, the card for the old man's ghost as well. Yeah, so... I didn't realize they had the, you know all this going on here and of course with the old man I had to go into the box to find his remote can't have him without his remote let's keep it moving here to see what we have next and I do like that they had these bases to kind of tie them together okay so the next one we have here oh okay so we have Ed Warren and I really like how they are stylized here you know kind of cutesy but 
yeah, pretty true to the characters there. And there he is in the midst of an exorcism. Some nice details going on with him. Okay, so he actually should have a peg on his base. So let me take care of that. Make sure I put his foot into the peg so that he will stand up straight. And I'm glad that they have that so that he can stand properly. And of course, I will get his card out here as well. And I do think a big part of the um, success of this franchise, you know, the Conjuring Universe, really is the casting of... Um, who they got to play Ed Warren and who they got to play his wife Lorraine. I mean, they do such a great job. Yeah, there's the card to go along with him. Yeah, and the card, yeah, it looks just like, you know, the figure, like I said there. So let me put that aside and keep it moving here. I wonder if we'll find Lorraine right next to Ed. Let's see here. And um, I'll definitely let you know if I get to a character I'm not familiar with. But this one, yes, here we go. We got Lorraine looking super cute there. Yeah, I really do like the look of her figure. The earrings there are actually got a little bit of shine to them. Got her hair all up in a bun, but it's a little bit frizzy there. You know, she's usually um, kind of distraught over the, her visions and everything. I like, too, even the buttons here on her top there kind of have a little bit of a shine to them. So, yeah, these two, I got to go ahead and look at them side by side. They look really cute together. And when I first looked at her figure, I thought to myself, yeah, she looks cool, but I, I, I kind of wish she had a rosary. And it turns out that is one of the accessories. So she actually does have a rosary in the cross. So, yeah, if you've seen the movie, you know her rosary, of course, is important to her. And I thought that was a nice detail that they actually did give her that. So that is pretty awesome there. Okay, So, yeah, again, we got Lorraine and Ed side by side. And there is the card, of course. And like I said, I tried my best not to peek the head at um, too many of these because when I've seen the advertisements online, they mainly show, um, I think it mainly shows Annabelle and like one other, like one or two other characters I've seen in the advertisements. But other than that, I've been trying to avoid looking at these directly, especially once, you know, Pop Mart uh, wanted to work with me. I wanted to make sure I held off and got to see these up close. So another one I can tell there's an accessory in there. Let's see who the character is, though. Ooh, and this is a character. I'm, this is the first one I think I'm actually not familiar with. So um, he must be from one of the movies that I have not completed yet. Those eyes look pretty crazy, though. So let's see what the accessory is. And I'll look at the... Let me check the packaging, too, to see who it is. The fairy man. Oh, and I'm just realizing, too, there are ratios in here. But are these all... Okay, it looks like they're all 1 in 12, except there is one... I think one rare figure... And I can barely tell what it is. Looks like it might be a wolf or a dog. I'm not 100% sure there. But there is at least one rare figure. But yeah, this is the uh, the fairy man. And like I said, this has got to be a character from one of the movies that I have not completed just yet. Um, if you know anything about the fairy man, you can go ahead and fill me in in the comments. Let me make sure I got the... And he actually comes with a lantern and looks like some sort of uh, walking stick there. Oh, actually, no. Um, the lantern actually hangs from this so I will put this together here for us real quick and get him on his base so there goes the fairy man I like how he's like raising a finger up to his lip looks like you know he's saying to uh, be quiet there and I like to how the lantern actually like just um, you know kind of hangs there pretty cool character like I said I'm just not familiar with him maybe he's from uh, later in the nun because like I said I, I've seen the beginning the first couple scenes then I saw like some clips like later on in the movie um, but I really do need to finish watching the full movie. I like to. I'm always um, a sucker for this. I really like when there's texture to, you know, the hood and, you know, the cloth material in general when they actually has texture to it and it feels kind of like the real deal. I really do appreciate details like that. Like I said, I do love those creepy eyes with him. So, yeah, pretty cool looking character there. <laughs> wow. And this is another one I thought is so cool that they... uh decide to do this i caught a kind of glimpse of that on the box there the samurai armor which um i don't think we've been given a backstory to this oh they gave it a base even though it actually is you know it could stand just fine but they did give it a base but this is one of those things that is in um like the collectibles room i guess you could say or the collection room basically that the warrens have yeah there's this samurai armor there you know we don't get the story behind it but it would be interesting to find out um what is the story behind that and maybe who knows i mean um i think there is a fourth movie on the way so maybe we will get more of a backstory to another item that's already in the room or maybe they will just add to the room but yeah this is a nice design there oh there she goes okay so finally we do have annabelle and they make her look a little bit 
more sweet than she does in the movie. She doesn't look quite as creepy, but the eyes, I mean, what they did with the eyes there is definitely unsettling. <laughs> yeah, so obviously she should have her chair. There it goes. Oh, and he even has the uh, Miss Me sign there too. Um, that opening for the first Conjuring movie with Annabelle, very creepy way to kick off the franchise. I, I really enjoy. Um, in fact, like I will, uh, I've been checking out like people reacting to movies on YouTube. People seeing movies for the first time, and it's very interesting to watch people, you know, as they watch the Conjuring movies, Conjuring one and two for the first time. So let me see if I can get the sign to slide out here. And I may have to check out the box. Let me see if she's... Um, I don't think she actually can hold the sign. I think it just comes along with the sign. But she should... Um, and there's no peg or anything here. It seems like she should just be able to sit on the chair. Oh, okay. So, yeah, she actually does feel like she will stay on the chair. No problem. I thought they might have a peg or something to help hold her in place. But it's kind of leaning back some. The head sculpt is kind of large. So it seems like she should be fine. You know, she's sitting on... A flat surface there yeah and I really do like the look of this nice paint job on it too the coloring is not you know it's not completely white I don't know what you would call this color necessarily but it's a very nice color to the eyes yeah so they did a good job with Annabelle of course they had to do a great job with this particular character yeah and there she's she sits no problem and I'll just put her sign next to her well I didn't get her card out let me grab her card real quick Dang. Oh, that was for the samurai. I didn't get his out either. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that was the samurai there. And it uh, just says the samurai suit. Okay, and then... So this one must have hers. Yeah, there we go. And there's Annabelle's card. If you've uh, been following the channel recently, then you might know which character I'm most excited to get to. Have not pulled this character just yet, but I know that he's part of the set. And, uh, yeah, like I said, some of you may know who I'm wait, really waiting to see here, even though I think all these are pretty cool. Oh, so this must be, um, now somebody, you know, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but is this the Warren's daughter? Um, it might be her, uh, and it's, I feel like this might be a reference to, I can't remember if it's a reference to one of the Conjuring movies or to one of the Annabelle movies. Definitely, um, looks familiar. Um, you know, it's, she seems very familiar, and now uh, let me see what she comes along with. Okay, so... She actually comes along with let me oh let me get the card out and it'll tell us exactly who she is. What well, says the prophecy TV? The prophecy TV. I'm really not sure if I can remember that reference or not, but like I said, it looks so familiar. But let's go ahead and get these um accessories out. So there's two stands. I'm assuming you know the TV sits on this one and then the character sits on the other. And you all, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like um I thought the TV was about to be a blank screen, but then I turned it and looked at it and that is pretty creepy so that's why it says prophecy i guess she's seeing possibly her own death there and it's that old style looking tv there you know crt like that's kind of creepy the way that they did that and um so yeah I'm, I'm still not sure of the movie reference like i said you know somebody please help me out in uh the comments with this one but yeah that's that's surprisingly creepy i did not expect that i thought it was just going to be a blank screen i didn't think they were actually going to have something on there but that that's pretty cool. You know, I really like how the accessories help to, um, you know, bring these to life even more. So we're down to the last four boxes here. And I wonder if we'll just get the straight up set or if we'll end up with that rare figure. Who knows? Um, we'll find out here soon enough. All right, this one here feels like kind of a big character, or at least a really, really big head sculpt. Okay, so we have here, um, see on the box, well, actually, which one is this? It says the white lady. Man, that's creepy with the veil covering up her face some, but then you see the eyes like bleeding there and the blood on her hand reaching out. Pretty creepy for a figure that's actually still cutesy as well. I, I could see like if somebody's not into horror and like they <laughs> visit your home and they see this set just sitting there, it could really unsettle them. Um, but for, for horror fans, this is a really awesome set. So yeah, there it says the white lady. Um, I don't think she comes with an accessory no it's just a stand here and um she already stands pretty well of course um so yeah there's no peg she, she doesn't need that she'll just sit on we'll stand on the stand you know but uh yeah again really creepy one. Oh, so this is that other one that is oh wait i i know this reference i know this reference here so um this is from the first conjuring movie 
um, like during the exorcism, basically, where I think they had the mother held down. Uh, if I'm not wrong about that, I think that's what's going on. Yeah, because it says um, Carolyn, what's her last name? Pearson. And I, I look, the card is so close, so let me actually go ahead and get that out. But yeah, this is when the, um, the mother was possessed. And I sure hope anybody checking this out is um, seeing at least the majority of these movies, because I am dropping some spoilers here and there. But uh, yeah, there's the stand. Let me go and put that down. And then, yeah... Uh, Carolyn, what's her last name? Perone. I'm not trying to say the last name there, but uh, yeah, possession. So, and that was that was pretty creepy. I did not really expect the movie to completely go there like it did in that way, but um, yeah, they really went for it. So yeah, they got her all tied down to the chair and cover it up and everything, and she's like busting up out of it. That was pretty intense. It was a pretty intense moment there. Um, basically finale of the movie. Okay, so just two more boxes to go. Still have not gotten to one of the ones I'm anticipating the most. Maybe it's good to save it for one of the last. And I'm going to run ahead and set the accessories to the side. Let's go and get the actual figure out. <laughs> so we had there the accordion monkey. And they actually does have the accordion over here. And it has um, my glasses that came with it too. But I thought it was cool that they did this. This is another item um, from their collection room or trophy room. Whatever you want to call it. Um, Another creepy item in the house that maybe we'll learn some more about in the future. Who knows? I really feel like, honestly, if they wanted to, they could turn The Conjuring into a, um, like a television series, you know, and just keep stories going. Um, I don't know if they ever would do that, but they definitely could. So let's get the items going here. <laughs> it's got those giant eyes already. And then the glasses. Yeah, they sit just nicely there. And then... Let's see if the hands are just right for the accordion. They should be. All the other accessories have been pretty easy to work with. Well, I got to make sure I straighten it up here. Okay, so let's leave the accordion on. Let me get the glasses back on there. And yeah, the the accept. I love how like accurate the accessories are. Very easy to um get onto the figure. And yeah, again, that's cool that they actually did. The accordion monkey, and that's actually what it's called, accordion monkey <laughs> there. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool one there. I'll tell you right now, if this is the rare figure, then I will have to get the, um, the one that I'm missing to go ahead and complete the set because I really would like that one. Um, so let's see what we got here. And you all, I'm not going to lie, kind of peek down to make sure this is uh, the one that does complete the set. It's not the rare figure. I guess, you know, the rare one technically would complete the set. But I really wanted to make sure I got this one. And it's amazing that it ends up being the last one here. So excited to see this one here. <laughs> man, he looks so creepy. We have here the Crooked Man. Oh, I've been really looking forward to getting this figure. I really like this character. I really like this character in um, The Conjuring 2. He's uh, really my favorite aspect of the movie. And of course, he has his base and he has his accessories. Let's actually go ahead and look at the card. Yeah, the card you see there, he does come with the hat and the glasses to go over it. The Crooked Man. Oh, and his umbrella as well. Like, they went all out for this one. Really awesome figure. I love this one here. So, um, I will say, though, a bit of bad news that I learned uh, recently is that there had been talk about them doing a, a Crooked Man movie. But for whatever reason, um, that was those plans have been canceled for right now. Hopefully, they'll work that out somehow in the future. Oh, I'm glad too. His glasses are actually on um, part. They're, they're like on the hat already, so it's not a separate piece. That's good. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I would love a Crooked Man movie. Um, let me know your thoughts on that. If you're really into this character, if you'd like to see a standalone movie for him, I think it could work. Um, some people may say maybe he's better in small doses, but um, I don't know. I, I'd like a, a Crooked Man movie though. But uh, yeah, I just like the look of this character and his movements are so creepy and everything and that actor you know who plays him just does an amazing job with the movement and everything so i think he'd, he'd be really awesome to see oh he does actually have a hook well i mean a um, hole here to get the umbrella in and again look at that you know the accessories like i said pretty easy to work with and then the hat just plops on his head there and it does line up right there with the you know the eyes so <laughs> he's got those cool teeth and everything and I love the body positioning as well just so awkward and creepy this is this is my favorite by far I'm not gonna lie this is my favorite by far this is the main one I was waiting to see and this is the one I've been seeing in advertisements as well so um yeah very happy to have this in my collection but I gotta say all, all together this is a really awesome set well there will be a link um, down in the description like I said so you can check out pop mark to see 
what they have going on. Of course, this set is available. They do have some other licensed sets and they have some original characters as well. Um, that does include their mega collection, which is back in stock right now. So you can be on the lookout for that. And if you decide to do an order with Pop Mart, Right now, they actually do have a discount code, so you got to spend at least $20, and then you get a discount. Um, I think it's a $3 discount on a, like a $20 order, um, so make sure that you use that code POP20 if you decide to make a purchase. And yeah, please check them out, because this is a pretty cool set. You definitely will see more of Pop Mart on my channel. Like I said already, that Justice League set is a must for me. Um, I know that they have an Avenger set as well, which I did not previously know about. And I actually do like the look of some of their original characters, including like some of the monster characters characters that they have so yeah you'll see more of them on the channel in the near future and um yeah like i said check out the website they do have some other promotions that are coming up they have a 12th anniversary and there's going to be some gifts involved along with that when you make some purchases like an anniversary pin um, and some other things you know that will be available make sure you check that out and then um with the holidays as well they do have some promotions coming up as well black friday christmas sales um you know again their 12th anniversary you know so they got a lot going on so definitely make sure that you do check out pop mart so you already know which figure is my favorite i said it a couple of times actually but again i want to know what is your favorite um what are your favorite or favorites um from this particular set uh also you know if you check out pop mart what they have available let me know what stands out to you there um and like i said i'm really interested in that justice league one but you may see even more than that on the channel i do appreciate you all taking the time to check this out i also appreciate pop mart for being so kind to send this over for me to review and uh, of course anything i review on this channel has got to be something that i have an interest in and i actually am a big fan of the conjuring movies you know especially the ones that i mentioned and i will catch up on the others there so that i do get um all of the references i think there was only one or two figures here i'm not so sure about you know in terms of reference but uh once i finish up catching up on the movies then i'll be more sure about those of course but uh yeah, again, like I said, really awesome figures here. But uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out. I really do appreciate that. And I will talk to you all again real soon.